leader, you face people issues, product issues, market issues, financial issues. Um, all of those are not easy to deal with. But that's the price of leadership. And if you don't want to pay that price, you shouldn't be in leadership. Probably the toughest challenge we face is is uh, trying to hire people that tend to be under 30 years of age and get them to be as dedicated, passionate, committed as our people are, and that our customers and our industry demand. Balance, you know, how much time do you need to spend with the appropriate business units? How much time do you need to spend on the mentoring process? How much time do you need to spend on the visionary process? How much time do you need to spend, you know, in your home? My biggest leadership challenge is coming up is the fact that how can our team and how can our company adapt to a flat or declining agricultural industry and be able to manage through that and still perform uh, to the liking of our shareholders after working in an environment of opportun opportunity in the last five or six years. I used to have a hell of a tough time selling up. I used to think that things were just black and white and that things were were uh, very clear to me, um, and I've always felt that I can I can get to, get to the to the to the meat of the issue. But then I was always trying to find out why is it that people don't see it the same way that I do, and it's that lack of empathy that I had in being able to see it from the other side, understand it from the other side, and recognize that at the end of the day, it's not what I feel; it's whatever the other side lets you feel.